Hello everyone, in the video today I'm going to be showing you how to beat Amon's Reach on Brutal Difficulty and I'm also going to be showing you how to get the three base achievements for this mission. The first achievement is Amon's Reach, which is complete the Amon's Reach mission in the Legacy of the Void campaign. There's no difficulty specified for that achievement. The next achievement is Close Call, which is complete the Amon's Reach mission without letting the Warp Conduit drop below 2,000 life. And the final achievement is Jump the Gun, which is free all Protoss launch bays before the last Void Thrasher appears in Amon's Reach on Normal Difficulty. So the difficulty is specified for that, at least, on Normal Difficulty. And I'm also going to be showing you what my army entails for this mission. I have a Zealot with the Whirlwind ability. I've got the Stalker with the Shield Regeneration ability, and I've got the Annihilator with the Shadow Cannon ability. And so that's using the Annihilator instead of the Immortal. But none of these unit selections really matter because all I'm really going to be using is the new unit which you get in this uh, mission, which is the Dark Templar. And then for the Spear of a Dune, I've got my Deploy Pylon ability maxed out, my Orbital Strike maxed out, and I've got all of the auxiliary systems, uh, starting supply maxed and construction time maxed for this mission. So that is important, and I mean, you guys can switch it too, but just if you want to play the same strategy as me, I'd use your, uh, put your Solarite in the same, at, the same way as I have. Now, in order to beat this mission on real difficulty and get all three of these uh, achievements at the same time, you really got to mass up a lot of Dark Templars. It took me a couple tries to actually do this mission and get those three base achievements at the same time. It's not very hard to beat it on brutal difficulty without getting those achievements, but uh, if you just want to do everything in one go, try to hold on to your Dark Templars the best you can. I'm going to lose a couple Dark Templars every now and then just because I'm uh, careless with my units, but you should be able to hold on to them pretty well if you follow along with what I'm doing here. And if you could see, right away I threw three of my probes onto the gas, just because uh, Dark Templar cost a decent amount of gas. I think it's 125 gas and 125 minerals, and I just think minerals are a bit easier to come by. You do have uh, these gas pickups around the map though, and that's going to help with uh, building your Dark Templar army. And as you can see, I already have two of my Dark Templars where the first Void Thrasher is going to spawn. And I'm just going to do that throughout this mission. I'm going to try to get the Void Thrashers uh, as soon as I can. Just to, you know, save, save that health in the Warp Conduit. And make sure you do a little micro uh, when you're attacking these Void Thrashers because they do have that uh, purple zap attack that will eventually kill your units if you're not paying attention. Because you are on brutal difficulty. Now, once I uh, kill this Void Thrasher, I'm going to show you with these four Dark Templar of mine. I'm going to try and pick up as much gas pickups as I can. And uh, always make sure to keep having your probes being constructed. I'm not doing that very effectively right now. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Make sure to keep getting those probes. Now, this is the important part. I, there's gas pickups are always going to be in this spot, these spots for this mission. So you got one to the right here. I just picked up the one to the left, and it's going to be on this top corner of this base here. And you move around, try to avoid being spotted from those overseers. And you'll get spotted for a second here, trying to get this gas pickup. So instead of letting your Dark Templars die, attack these couple Zerglings so you can get out of the way, and then run as fast as you can and get this last gas pickup. And then just hold your units for a second to let their shields regenerate. And then to get out of here, you're going to use your orbital strikes and drop them on this uh, air air attacking unit that's got detection. I can't remember what that defense is called. All this spore crawler. There we go. You're going to use your orbital strikes on that spore crawler so it cannot detect your units, and you can run them out of there really quick. And then, as you can see, I built four extra Dark Templar to defend my base from this first wave. And you're going to want to make sure to do that as well. You can also use uh, Photon Cannons to defend your base, but I prefer just to build more Dark Templars because you're going to end up using them anyway. Alright, so you kill that Spore Crawler. And then, now that it's out of the way, you can move here and destroy your first, um, launch, or release your first launch bay. And you'll just have that taken care of right away. 
Now I'm going to get my Dark Templars ready to go up this ramp, because that's where the next Void Thrasher is going to be spawned. There. First launch bay has been cleared. Now there's another gas pickup here, and then I'm going to try to sneak in here. Well, actually, I'm going to try and save my units because they're almost going to die. <laughs> you got to be a little careful here. I'm going to get the last gas pickup, maybe. Yep, last gas pickup over here, and then I'm going to try to run out of here, I think. I might use one more orbital strike to try... Nope, nope, I'm just going to head out. I decide that I went too far, and now I'm just going to head back to my base. I've got about 900 gas saved up, and I th I'm going to call that good enough. And yeah, just make sure to avoid those overseers, and you should be good to go. Now, there's a couple there's a couple of units that are starting to build up here from this hatchery, or... Yeah, yep. There's a couple of units that start to build up here, and if you don't kill these units, like I'm doing right now, eventually they will come to attack your base, so just make sure to pay attention there. Destroy a couple of units when you can, and you don't have to kill them all, but the more you kill, the longer it'll delay their attack. The, or if they do attack and don't delay their attack, it, it'll just be a weaker force. So make sure to kill those units when you can. And then when you're coming up to this uh, next Void Thrasher, there's going to be two Spore Crawlers that are going to drop and try to dig into the ground right away. As soon as they dig into the ground, they're going to be able to detect your uh, Dark Templars. But if you have eight or nine Dark Templars like I do, then you're going to be able to... Uh, if you split up your units, focus about four or five Dark Templars on each Spore Crawler, and you should be able to kill them in time before they actually dig into the ground. Now, the number of Dark Templars you have is very important for that part. I tried doing it a couple times with only using four Dark Templar, and it's just that they're not quick enough to destroy both Spore Crawlers in time, and you'll probably end up losing all of your Dark Templar because of that problem. Now, for these Overseers, I, I generally save my orbital strikes to destroy those guys. I don't really waste my time building stalkers in order to kill overseers. I just wait until I have enough energy and my uh, cooldown's ready for my orbital strikes and then I go on and destroy those overseers. No more detection. It works out very well actually. So I highly emph emphasize you guys maxing out your solar lights in the Spear of a Dune abilities and getting that getting those abilities for the orbital strikes. Max cooldown, uh, less energy to use it, and all the good stuff. Make sure to get those abilities. And I was not very prepared for this attack on my base, but all, about all you need for this, uh, I think it's about the second, second or third attack to attack you. You only need about two Dark Templars and a couple Photon Cannons to defend yourself. And I'm going to build a couple more Photon Cannons just to make my base a little more secure if I don't have any units back at home. And all you need is about, you know, six Photon Cannons, and that should be enough to distract the units until you can build some Dark Templars and defend your base, or bring your units home and defend your base. Now, this Void Thrasher, this is the third Void Thrasher to spawn, and this is going to be where it spawns all the time. At least the times that I've played, this is where it has always spawned. I believe all the Void Thrashers in this mission will spawn in this order and this positioning. And with this Void Thrasher, there's probably going to be two Ninus Worms that pop up with it. And you don't need to worry very much about the Ninus Worms, really. All they're going to do is spawn units that don't have detection. So just destroy that uh, Void Thrasher quick, and then you can kill those Ninus Worms. Not that you have to, but, I mean, it's fun. <laughs> and, yeah, like I said, there, there aren't going to be any detection you need to spawn out of those Nidus Worms. So really, if you wanted to, and you're in a hurry, you can just leave those leave those be. Now, I am looking at about 15 to 20 Dark Templars here, and I'm going to be able to start destroying stuff very rapidly. I still have 4,000 hit points left on my Warp Conduit also, so that's turning out very well. I can I split my units in half here, and I took out both of those Spore Crawlers pretty much instantly. And I just killed all of these units here. And for this Overseer, you're going to want to make sure to use your Overdose Strikes on that. And you can clear out this area down here. Make sure that you hit this wave. That wave is going to go straight for your base if you're not prepared. Those Zerlings got, my, got by my Dark Templar, but my uh, Photon Cannons should be able to handle just those Zerlings since I killed the Hydralis. I'm going to spend a 
spawn a couple extra Dark Templar to kill those Zerglings just in case. You know, just gotta have a little bit of extra protection. But now I'm gonna try and kill or just release the third launch bay, which is up here. And I'm not gonna wait until my um, orbital strikes are ready for this one. I have so many Dark Templar, and hopefully you guys do at this point too, that you should just be able to walk up here and destroy the detection first, and then you should be able to clear out this little top area without any problems. There's only a couple Hydralis and a Spine Crawler to really, you know, defend against that Dark Templar horde that you have going. Or army. I don't know if you can call it a horde, but... Now I have, let's see here, 5, 10, 15, I've got about 20, 20 Dark Templars, I think, yeah, about 20 Dark Templars, and then, yeah, yeah, about 20 Dark Templars. Here's going to be your last bonus objective, recovering the Solarite Reserves. It's going to be right down in the bottom right corner of the map. It doesn't pop up or give you a notification, so you've got to go there yourself in order to find it. And, uh... Really, all you have to... You don't even have to kill that Overseer like I did. You can... All you need to do is just run... If you want to be a little bit more efficient with your time, just run one of your Dark Templars into that little uh, circle. As soon as your unit gets in that circle, you automatically get the Solar Rite. So you... <laughs> it's actually really easy to get that Solar Rite. You don't have to s expend your units to try... Or your energy, that is, to try and get, get that Solar Rite. Just drop one unit in there and you're, you'll be good to go. Now, this is where the mission actually gets really easy. That Void Thrasher that's attacking the Warp Conduit right now, that is the second to last Void Thrasher, and I still have 1,800 hit points before I actually don't get that one achievement of uh, don't let, not letting your Warp Conduit drop below 2,000 hit points. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see right now, I'm taking the rest of my Dark Templar, and I'm just going to avoid being detected, and I'm just going to go straight for this uh, launch bay and try to release it right away. Now, I didn't um, plan this very effectively. I forgot that there were two or three overseers here that have a rotation. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait until I have my orbital strikes cool down ready. And I'm going to go for it right now. And I'm going to drop my orbital strikes in a row where this overseer is going. Or in one point where the overseer is moving to. You're going to kill that overseer. No detection to sp uh, spot your units, and you can release that last uh, launch bay, and you should be good to go. And just to prove that I got the achievements here, uh, yep, uh, just showing the bonus objectives right now. But uh, as you can see, Warp Conduit life remaining was at 3,430 hit points. So, let's see here. Uh, the achievement was close call. Complete the Amon's Reach mission without letting the Warp Conduit drop below 2,000 life. So that gets that achievement by 1,430 hit points, and then the very last achievement here, which is Jump the Gun, free all Protoss launch bays before the last Void Thrasher appears in Amon's Reach on normal difficulty. Now, as I said, that was the second to last Void Thrasher. The very last Void Thrasher spawns where that last launch bay was, and that one did not show up. So, as you can see, you should be able to beat this mission like I did in about... 14 minutes on Brutal Difficulty, and that's pretty darn quick for a Brutal Difficulty mission, and it was, yeah, it was just super fast, so I'm going to make another video for this mission as well, it's going to be a Mastery Achievement, and that one should actually be very easy as well, I haven't actually played through it yet, but I was reading what the Mastery Achievement entitles, and I'm thinking that one's going to be a pretty darn quick video, but the next video I'm going to be posting is tomorrow, and that's going to be a weekly mutation video. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.